Hello my loves, a big warm welcome to my channel. I thought I would come in today with everything that I had learned being a professional dancer in terms of my body confidence. So for 10 years, I was a professional dancer. I was up against other girls, literally like standing next to other girls and getting judged and sometimes literally on your body shape. Um, but bigger than that, being judged by other people, I think I judged myself in my own mind so much. And so over that time, I've learned so much about body confidence, about stepping into my true worth and my true power. And there's certain things I wish I could tell myself back then that I feel like I know now. And if I could hop back in a time machine, I would tell myself back then. So I'm gonna share them with you because I think that it's going to help you change your perception on your body and your mindset around your body. And it's going to, it can literally have the power to transform your life when you think about this differently. So first thing is that your worth is not tied to your body shape. And I know we hear this all the time, but I think it takes a moment to actually take it on and believe it. If you're kind of my age or maybe older, then I'm 36 by the way, you will know that we have been fed over and over again through the media and through our parents' generation as well that our body image is so important when it, when it comes to terms with like, who we are and how worthy we are and especially tied to how skinny we are um when i was at dance college i can remember it was the size zero trend was in and it was really like you were dedicated and you were one of the favorites and you were good if your body image reflected um that trend and then that's kind of carried with me i my body fluctuated as I went through my 20s, as I started living away from home and I started gaining a little bit of weight because away from home for the first time, didn't really know how to cook and stuff like that. And I completely felt unworthy as a person because my body shape didn't reflect that of what society wanted and, and as a dancer as well. But I think you can take this into society. Um, and then of course the trend had evolved into girls with muscles, right? girls with muscles. I then, I trained as a personal trainer, went very much down like the bodybuilding route. And again, my worth was tied to my body shape because if I didn't have muscles, then people would think that I wasn't healthy or wasn't good at my job or um, anything like that. So I think that the, the, the it doesn't matter what the body shape is that's like fashionable at the moment, but it's like you get it in your head that you have to be that body shape or you're no good. And so I would search, search for other meaning in life, other things that light you up that are not um, revolving around your body shape. So yeah, work out, enjoy your workouts, be healthy. I'm a massive advocate of that. I still run fitness programs and stuff, but tying your whole self-worth to whether you have a flat tummy, toned arms, a big enough bum, all of these things, it, it's just exhausting and it's exhausting and I don't wish that upon anyone. So that would be my first thing, to find other things that you are good at, that, that signal to you that you are worthy. And the thing is, you don't even need other things because we're all innately worthy. We're all worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of the job you want to get. You're worthy of the money you want to make. You're worthy of a happy and fulfilled life no matter what but we need like this proof to like stack it up and pick healthy proof don't look outside yourself look into yourself like find the ways that you are innately worthy and lovable and stack up that proof every day so the next thing that I would say is the comparison trap so as I said like we were very much um you know all getting dressed in the dressing room together all doing costume fittings together and you can take this into your life because with social media, you're looking all the time at different body shapes and stuff. And you can be having a day where you actually feel really good about your body, but then you jump on social media and you're like, ah, no, um, now I feel like crap about my body because someone's popped up who's got a better body than me. So the comparison trap can be so easy to fall into, but it's so 
um, important to quickly get out of it. So if you feel yourself going down that route of comparing yourself to somebody else and you feel your your body state literally start to change as you feel like, oh my God, I need to, I need to jump up and do a workout because I'm, I'm feeling bad about myself. It's important to first of all, put away whatever it was that you were looking at that was making you feel that way. And remember that that makes you feel that way. So every time you pick up your phone, it's gonna make you feel that way. So maybe unfollow some accounts or whatever you need to do. And then you need to literally regulate your nervous system. So you can do that by some slow breathing, you can do that by being mindful and present in the moment. So maybe looking around and just noticing some things in the room. You can do that by gratitude as well, bringing yourself back to gratitude and just anchoring back into all the things you love in your life and all the things you love about your body. But just stop yourself before you go down that road. Um, and, and from that calm place, you can then switch your mindset around to be like, this is the body I'm in and this is the body I love. and. I love being healthy, I love doing all the things, and my body shape is my body shape, and I'm gonna work on loving it. You can just switch your mindset into that, say something like that, and it will really help you to not go down the rabbit hole of the comparison. Because what it does, it just has like a hangover on you, where you just feel like, oh, I just can't get out of this negative cycle, but it's because you haven't reset, you haven't reset again. So the other thing that I guess I'd learned about my body on my, dancing journey and my body confidence journey is that you will have bad days and that will make you feel bad about your body so you start seeing your body through the lens of your day you start seeing your body through you know if you wake up in the morning and you 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 feel tired and you have a bad you know a bad feeling in your body about whatever maybe you didn't sleep enough you don't want to get up your alarm went off and then you get out of bed you stub your toe you go to the bathroom you like run out of toothpaste and you're like having a bad day you will look in the mirror at that point and you will look at your body and view it so differently to when you're having a good day and everything's going really well for you so when you know i would get the job and or i would do really well at rehearsals and maybe get a solo or something i'd feel really good about my body but maybe if i didn't do well at an audition or had a bad day at rehearsals or other stuff was completely getting me down i would then view my body completely differently completely differently i would literally look at my body and it would look like a completely different body so let me know in the comments if you recognize this because it's so it happens all the time right um, and you can notice this when you look back at photos if you were going through a time in your life where you're not feeling very good and you look at photos of that time i'm sure at the time you felt you did not like your body but when you look back at photos you can start to think actually my body was amazing what was i thinking about so it's your perception of your body is so powerful and that's why i teach the mindset work so heavily because it's all about this perception right it's all about this way that you view, the lens you view yourself through, the lens you view everything through is so important. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments if you did. Um, pop me a follow if you want more mindset tips and um, especially body confidence, weight loss mindset. I also talk, talk on money mindset, basically all things mindset because it's so flipping important and it's changed my life and I want it to change your life as well. Yeah. Pop me a follow, pop me a like, and I will see you in the next one.